YouTube, Brian Phillips here, with the Phoenix V2, two meter. And I realized in our setup the other day, I never did set up Expo, so I'm gonna do the proverbial last second setup. So click, bring it down to dual rates and Expo, ailerons, I'm gonna switch this to switch F, that's the way I like it, elevator, switch F, I want them all switched by the same switch, so I can quickly make a change. Switch F. And now that I'm on rudder, this will be my highest level. I'll put it at like 30, and then I'll bring down my rates to 90. On my middle level, I'll leave it at 100, and I'll go to 20. Okay, and then I'll go to the lowest setting, which will be 10. And we're gonna mimic that for elevator. This is the lowest setting, will be 10. The middle setting will be 20. And the high setting will be 30. And this is just a quick and dirty way of getting something in there so that you can get up in the air. And then we'll see how it performs. So in the lowest setting, we'll go to 10. Then we'll go to 20. Then we'll go to 30. <clears throat> Oops. And what that does is that's going to give us the ability to quickly, at the flip of a switch, go from neutral to less or neutral to more. And then when we land, we'll set our middle setting to the setting that we prefer. And that's the way I do it when I made in a plane. Um, the wind is coming from that way, as you can see on the flags, so it is not dead calm. We do not have a stabilizer today, so that's something new for a maiden. I have my timer set to five minutes. We're going to run a 2200 milliamp 3S 60C, which is a zippy compact. I'll show you that real quick. Part of the reason we always like to show you guys how this thing fits in the car, because I hate taking planes apart with a passion, okay? I hate it. Um, even though this plane is really easy to take them apart, I still hate it, okay? <laughs> so I've got three clips or two clips, once you get the third, it pops off. My battery is all the way back at the tray, 2200 milliamp, I put it vertical, put a voltage alarm on here, 4.2, 4.18, 4. I couldn't read the last one, but you take my word for it. Um, and then we'll go ahead and plug this in. Since it's not a stabilizer, we don't have to level it. I ended up putting the antenna straight down, and then the antenna is taped just on the plastic here. I don't know if they can see that, can they yeah, see that? Yeah, I think so. So basically there's one that shoots down and then there's one that goes there and then I took and just rammed the, the satellite back into here. So the antennas are just going to be whatever direction they happen to go. Um, on the satellite antennas like that, <clears throat> out of habit I'll hold it level. doesn't mean anything though. No. Throttle cut is on. I just have this old disgusting dirty rubber band here that I was using to hold the prop. <laughs> Okay, can you help me, camera woman, just hold this for a second? Got it? Yep. Okay, I'm gonna get my lanyard on, close up the car, and we're ready to rock and roll. Except I didn't have that all the way clipped. Um, okay, so a couple things first. We're gonna check control surfaces. Up, down. Yaw, yaw, okay. Roll, roll. Okay, they're all correct. Now flaps, take off flaps. Landing flaps, okay, back to neutral. Crow is on, take off crow, landing crow, okay? Which sounds stupid, but just for the sake of argument, okay? Throttle cuts off, <laughs> throttle's working. Okay, here goes nothing. No trim. Got a little bit of roll. Out of the throttle. Braking is not activated. I forgot to activate braking. We'll do that now. Let's land it and we'll come right back. Looks like the neutral rates are really good. This thing is gonna scream with the braking on. Kick off flaps. Landing flaps. Man, that thing slows down beautifully. Look at that. Wow. That's without crow, guys. And the wheel worked perfect. Okay, so let's set the braking real quick. Throttle cut is on. 
as I always forget, Volantix doesn't send these things with the braking activated, which is just like totally stupid. But you know what? I forgive them because did you see how good that flew? It is not calm and I do not have a stabilizer in this. Okay, so popping off the canopy. Camera woman, you're gonna have to help me on this one. Yep. Throttle cut is currently on. We are gonna unplug the throttle, okay? It's unplugged. Throttle cut is off. Clearing my timer. Throttle's all the way up, okay? Watch this, guys. I'm not gonna chop myself in half, I promise. Okay, listen. Okay. Now, throttle cuts back on. I'm gonna unplug it. I'm gonna plug it back in. If we got the second setting, we'll learn real quick. There wasn't a low pitch. Yay, look at this. See, it's breaking. Okay, so can we please, camera woman? So our timer is compromised. We're at four minutes and 15 seconds. So that's pretty close to what we had in it. Okay, so throttle cut is off. Take off laps. Got a little bit of ridge lift here. Oh, gorgeous. Got a little bit of roll tendency. I'm gonna take that out with some trim. A little bit of rudder. Okay, out of the throttle. Still got a little bit of roll tendency. Sorry about the sun, camera crew. Oh man, that thing looks gorgeous. No stabilization at all. Just bulge. Ooh, it sounds good too. Mm -hmm. Okay, here we go, guys. here. I want to try to get that roll tendency out of it. See it rolling guys? Just kidding guys. I did that. Okay, here we go. With the wind. Take off flaps. Landing flaps. Crow. Out of the crow. Crow. Crow, crow, do you guys see it jump? Jump downward? Can you see it, camera crew? I don't, I think so. The focus is fighting on this side. That was all me. <laughs> okay, out of the throttle. Man, that thing looks gorgeous, doesn't it? Yeah, it looks really nice. Sounds good. So this is like full rudder and aileron. Full rudder and aileron. The wings are holding up okay. Let's do some upside down flight here for a minute. Upside down, just about full elevator there. It's a little bit wonky, but I can live with it. Having to ride the elevator just a touch. I'm wondering if maybe I have a battery that shifted a little bit on me. Because as you can see, having to kind of pull down on that stick a little bit to keep it level. It's got ample power, guys. This two-meter wing is just a whole lot lighter. Nice crisp maneuvers for having a 10-mile-an-hour headwind here. Okay, so here we go. We're going to turn around. I'm going to see if I can catch it here, huh? Okay. okay. All right. Yep. Take off flaps, toggling between. Oh yeah. That was so easy. Yep. Guys, this is the maiden flight. No stabilizer. Okay, so real quick thoughts. Uh, battery's not dead yet, I don't think. I've got one minute left on the countdown timer. Uh, we should be good for a little bit. <clears throat> um, noticing that the battery may have shifted, throttle cut is on and tested, by the way, guys. I always want to test your throttle cut before you get your fingers chopped off. Let's be honest, let's have a safety talk. Okay? You know me. I'm really <laughs> concerned about safety. And I really actually am. You guys probably don't think that, but what's the number one thing you're going to hurt yourself on a plane? This thing. When it spins fast. Cut your face off. Okay? Don't do that. 
All right, good safety talk. Ready to go. <laughs> Look at that, beautiful. No throttle. Get into the throttle. Just gonna ride the elevator and rudder. Okay, we'll just stay under the power a little bit here. We're going with the wind here, that's why we gotta stay in the power. Okay, we'll flip her over on our on her belly. Get the job done. Whoa. Here we go. Nice crisp loop. A little bit of rudder to kick it level. Use the rudder to Kind of make those fine tune adjustments as you're flying guys the rudder is not going to be as aggressive as the ailerons okay now i'm going to kick it into uh high rates if you guys want to call it that so basically less expo oh yeah she feels good so basically this is no expo and we got a like i said a nice i would call it a laminar wind does that make sense to you? A what? A laminar wind. It's laminar, meaning it's not like all upset and weird. I made that up, guys. For all of you aeronautical engineers out there, you can call me out as soon as you want. Okay, so here we go. Take off flaps, landing flaps. Let's see how fast we can slow down. Jeez! Out of the crow, out of the crow. Look at that. Out of the crow. Oh, <laughs> man, I almost stalled it. And did you guys see how awesome that stalled? By the way, no elevator, um, no elevator correction on my flap setting. Okay, that's the uh, local route for turning around. Man, this thing just flies good. Yeah, it does. It really does. And I, I mean, without stabilizers, that's just so weird. I am so not a non-stabilizer. This is, by the way, this is no, no throttle. If you can't tell, and I am gaining altitude. A little bit of ridge lift here, taking taking the flaps to help me slow it down into this ridge lift here. Um, yeah, I'm going up. Mm -hmm. That's awesome, guys. I am going to ultimately stall here in a second. Okay, so out of the flaps, get a little throttle moving here. Give this dog some room. I wasn't talking about the dude. <laughs> He's got a dog with him. Can't make him laugh. Sorry. You good, hon? Coming mm -hmm. back around? Love it. Man, that wing is just very robust. I feel like the plane is well balanced. It sure looks good flying. One thing I can say is that the canopy latches maybe a leave just a touch to be desired, even though easier to use. Sorry about the sun, guys. Okay, coming around to my left. Close. I saw the shadow and I swore it was a dog. Oh. It just... I didn't see it. Okay, so we're two minutes 43. Okay, a little rudder turn there. Just get that stall to fall straight down and get her flying again. I love that look. That's so cool. Into the power. Don't want to stall on the tail end of that high energy movement. Probably one of my lesser desirable movements there. Okay, I didn't want to go with the wind there. I would have stalled it if I'd have come out of that turn. I've made the children cry again. Okay, here we go. We'll do a little upside down into the wind. And we'll come out of it here. With the wind, high speed pass. Man, that thing looks good. Take off flaps, landing flaps. Look at that thing. Pro. Man, that slows it down like crazy, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. Take off flaps out. Okay, out of the throttle. Bring it back down fast. Coming around. Do a slow pass for the camera. Rudder, helping to slow it down, using the ailerons to keep it level. Kind of pointing her into the wind. Take off flaps only now recovers almost out of the stall just by taking out the flaps. That's awesome. Guys, this thing looks gorgeous. I want to get those dogs to chase it. It's hilarious when dogs chase your planes. So you may notice we're not at the land today. And that is because we're doing this before we go to the land today. Man, this thing just 
it just flies. It wants to fly. Pull any flaps, a little crow action. Crow action. Crow action. Watch this. Okay, level flight. Watch the wings bend. Crow. Crow. It's so funny. It's like somebody's pushing the plane down. You see that, hon? Mm -hmm. Camera crew? I cannot believe this thing is not at low voltage warning yet. I'm at 4 minutes 53. Now that is a one out timer, so it keeps going. Did you understand what I meant by that, hon? Yeah. For the uh, non-RC viewers. I'm not sure I qualify as that anymore. Oh, that's true. You are an experienced RCer. I'm sorry to do that to you. Look at this. Oh, just get out of the flaps. A little power to keep her from falling. Do you guys want to see a stall? Was that a beep? It might have been. Okay. Here we go. Let's check the beep while we go by. Full throttle. Nope. Well, we're with mm -hmm. the wind, so we got to do it this way. Full landing flaps, full throw, full throttle. Okay, out of the crow. Nope, wasn't a beep, it was in my head. Might have been a Volantix uh, motor fart. Sometimes they squeak out just like that, you know. Is that a tear running down your cheek? Yeah. Right. Did I really make you laugh? This is, <laughs> no, is it it's just the frigid wind? wind on my face. I can't wear my sunglasses on film. The things, <laughs> the things no I do flaps. for your airplanes. The things we do for you. Things YouTubers. we do for you people. That's right. Man, it's pretty good on a 22 3S. 60C, by the way. Zippy Compact. I'll have links to that. Redcon with the full diversity antenna and satellite. It's a CM703, I believe. Whoa definitely into the ground effect. Ooh, there there was a beat. You son of a gun. You will not win. <laughs> Did you see that thing trying to get away from me? Gorgeous. Look at this. Watch this again. Crow. Oh yeah, baby. Out of the crow. Crow. Out of the crow. And by the way, if it didn't already make itself evident, the ailerons still work in all the settings, okay? If you want to know how to do that, I have it on a video. Check the description below. I will show you in a very tedious manner <laughs> how to do this. It will take more than five minutes. Hope you don't have anything going on this afternoon. But you can do it yourself. Now, if you want to add a stabilizer, someday we might add one. But this thing just flies great without it. Um, if I went out and slope soared this right now, <laughs> my wing wasn't even clipped that whole time. Oh, jeez. Volantex, good job on V2. Get your very own today. Check the description. We do have a Black Friday coupon code uh, from Banggood, um, but I'm going to tell you right now, this thing is, it's good. And by the way, let's show them the whole positions real quick in case you didn't see the whole build series. Uh, we're basically on the innermost hole and then the factory opened um, hole on all of the clevises for the servos. So I'm probably going to trim these off as I'm very satisfied with the way things are working. And uh, in, in terms of Expo, I had 10% Expo on all three control surfaces. No dual rates, 100% on everything. I didn't go over 100% on anything. And by the way, the crappiest servo on this plane is the elevator. So I had a wise man once tell me that with a glider, you don't need an elevator. And I don't know if you can see my eyes roll through the tipping glass. <laughs> but yet, this wise man actually knew what he was talking about. So if you fly a glider and you fly it the way I do, you need an elevator. <laughs> On that high note, come back for more guys. You know where to find it.